Hey, this is John Carlos, and I'm here with a look at the Funko Pop from The Walking Dead Series 5 of The Well Walker. Wow, and this one actually has like a little zip tie on it. That's something you don't normally see. And now you know why, because he's two pieces. I want to start off talking about the paint. One of the things that I like about Walking Dead zombie pops is that they have this sort of wash over them that uh, not only makes them look zombie-ish, but also kind of dirty. So uh, you can kind of get away with a lot of little mistakes, like this big glob on his arm. If this was a clean, normal human pop, I'd be like, hey, why is there a big glob on his arm? But since he's a zombie, I just go, oh, it's, you know, gook. Yay, because he's a zombie. Uh, same thing with his hair here. He's got... Uh, like, you know, paint in, like, dark paint on his white hair. If this was, like, say, Herschel, I'd be irritated that there's brown paint on his hair. But now I just think, hey, it's dirt, because he's a zombie and he's gross, and he, like, you know, rolls around on the ground and crap. So they get away with that sort of stuff, and uh, I think that's okay. Now, focusing on the uh, actual zombie here, when I was hunting for this, I saw three, and two of them had really kind of clean areas where, like, the base here that you could see in the forehead, without the dirt, that color of the base was really prominent, like, he wasn't dirty enough. So I picked this one because, overall, he was the most zombie-like and dirtiest, even though this one didn't have the best teeth. Let's see, if we go in for a closer look here, you can see that his teeth have a little bit of black on the tips of them. Uh, but if I wanted to get really into it, I could get some white paint and paint the tips myself. Um, but his mouth... For the most part, like the red gums look good, that little bite in his lip looks good, but yeah, those teeth were a bit of a problem point for me, but overall they weren't worth it considering how good the rest of his head and face and body was. Um, I do like what they're doing with the torso here, it's a fun effect. I think it's awesome that they sculpted the guts inside. This could have just been like a flat thing underneath, but I do like that they included the, the gutty torso inside. I think it's a neat little uh, detail. And speaking of neat little detail, I like that they included his spine here. There's a little thread of something there, but I like that the spine's included. There's a little bit of red at the base, like bloody bone marrow. Uh, but yeah, the guts look cool, and I like the little bloody cut line. I'm really, really happy with this. This is a fun little detail. It's kind of awesome and rad and gross and cool, and yeah. Uh, now let's take a look at like just the paint on his body. Again, I pointed out that glop, but I like the kind of gross wash they put on this. It really does read like this gross, fat, gnarly, bloated, wet, nasty zombie. And I think that's great for Funko to achieve that kind of detail so little. And I like the wrinkles in his arm. It's a little thing, but I like the sculpt in his arm. Uh, his pants look good. I like the fact that his belt is sticking out a bit. Did not expect that as a detail. I thought it would just be like a sculpted belt onto the uh, waistline. That's it. But I like that. Um, and I like all the little chunks missing from his pants, and the paint in those chunks is really clean. Really clean, so good job to Funko on that. I just like how gnarly his feet are. Like, they did a good job with the dead, bloated, gross painting on his feet as well. Now, if there's one thing that kind of irritates me about this, and this is a minor thing, well, not that minor, most pops have a sculpted end to them, like the shoulders, the chest, it all kind of connects and rounds off like a figure would, like any human figure would. This just sort of stops, it, be, it just flattens out. And I've never seen that before on a pop, where like, they actually stop sculpting the chest and shoulder area and they just sort of create a flat line. Uh, it's a little distracting to me and I've never seen it before and I don't really get it. I only could imagine them doing that if the head fully connected, because then it would need to be flat to connect, but it's not connecting, so I don't really get that. Having said that, this is an awesome pop. I mean, just look at it. It's really cool. Uh, it's really fun, and you can actually play with it. It's not just like a fun display piece, so that's really cool. I think this looks rad. Really rad. Thanks for watching.